Hello everyone. Can you dance? Don't worry if you can't. Dancing is an ability. If you don't know any dance moves, you can't perform any. Though if you're already a dancer, you can probably replicate dances you've seen performed. It really comes down to earning experience and learning the moves. That's the topic of today's video. Dancer is an ability introduced in Generation 7, and it's currently the signature ability of the Pokémon Oricorio. This multicolored dancing bird is a gimmick Pokémon that... Wait, hold on. Odori Dori. Iro Tori Dori. Odori Tori. You clever little developers, you. Good job. As I was saying, this Pokémon is a gimmick Pokémon that can change type by changing forms. Each island in Alola has unique flowers with unique nectar and unique Oricorio forms. By giving an Oricorio the proper nectar, it will change its form and primary type. In addition, this Pokémon has a gimmick move called Revelation Dance. It exists so that Oricorio will have a decent stab move regardless of the current form it's in, at least in most situations. This is because Revelation Dance changes type to always match the primary type of a Pokémon. If you create a game state situation where the primary type is changed, Revelation Dance will change type accordingly. There's some other details, but those aren't necessary for this video. By now you should be able to pick up that Oricorio is a dancer through and through. In fact, it's the only ability of this Pokémon, regardless of what style it is in. There is currently no secondary or hidden ability for them. Dancer ability allows a Pokémon to automatically copy and perform any dance move it sees in battle. There are a few more important details that you should know. Dancers do not use up their turn. Copied dances are all free actions in addition to the move they actually selected for themselves. Dancers will copy any dance on the field, friend or foe. If the ally Pokémon does a dance that targets one opponent, the dancer will target the same one. Dancers will not copy the dance of a dancer that has already copied a dance. This is to prevent an endless turn of dancers copying the same dance forever in a loop. There are many more dancer mechanics, but we're skipping that to get to the moves affected by dancer. As is tradition on the channel, we will need to reference the Japanese move names and descriptions to explain why moves are or are not dances. We would expect to see nomai or dansu in the Japanese name of a dancing move. Luckily we are going over a real ability this time, so it's going to be so much easier. The last video I made was a hypothetical kick-based ability, so I had to manually check through every single move in English and Japanese to determine what was definitely a leg strike versus which moves are just debatably leg strikes. It was a massive pain, but a lot of people liked it, so you can check out that video if you'd like. I bring all this up because I want Pokemon fans to get into the habit of using Google. A quick Google search about Japanese language and culture would explain away so many move inconsistencies. The world would be a better place if we took the time to respectfully understand culture and history in general. That's enough preaching for now, so let's get into the moves. Swords Dance A vigorous or frenetic dance that sharply raises attack. It's got no mai, dance, in the name. Surugi is sword, especially like the double-edged ones in the animation. Petal Dance Hanabira no mai, flower, petal, dance. The Pokémon dances and their blossom petals dance in the wind. Kind of like that one song. Feather Dance. Feza Dance. The Pokemon scatters feathers and fluffy down from its body. The descriptions don't talk about a dance in either language, but it's okay, the names both explicitly say dance. Teeter Dance. Hura Hura Dance. As you heard, dance is in the name. Hura Hura is the onomatopoeia of discombobulation. It's a sound effect you may see used in manga for unsteady or dizzy characters fitting for a move that confuses all adjacent Pokémon. Dragon Dance Ryu no Mai Extremely straightforward. Ryu is Dragon, a Dragon Dance that raises attack and speed by one stage. Lunar Dance Mikazuki no Mai Tsuki is Moon. When putting Mika in front of Tsuki, the combination means Crescent Moon. The Su becomes a Zu because of a concept called Rendaku. I'm going to heavily oversimplify it to avoid overwhelming monolingual viewers. Sometimes consonant sounds change when they form a compound word. The consonant sounds k, s, and t become g, z, and d sounds respectively. The h sound can become b or p sounds. This is why pronunciation might be different than you would expect when reading paired up kanji. For example, look at these kanji. 
He means fire, and Hana means flower. And as you heard, they can be pronounced with a H huh sound. Now look at these words, fireworks and spark. They're pronounced Hana Bi and He Bana. In both situations, the H huh sound becomes a B sound. We don't have an exact equivalent in English, but we do have similar situations. For example, we say ping, tick, and ding, but slap them together and we get ping pong, tick tock, and ding dong. Again, it's not quite the same. You can technically say tick tick, but tick tock is more common, in it. Anyway, Mikazuki no Mai is crescent moon dance, a signature move of Cresselia. The user dances and sacrifices themselves. In exchange for instantly fainting, the next Pokémon to switch into their position will have their HP, PP, and status condition fully restored. If you're using a Pokémon with Dancer, keep this in the back of your head if you see Cresselia in the team preview. Quiver Dance Cho no Mai Cho can mean so, so many things, but in this context it means butterfly. It's a light, beautiful, and mysterious dance that boosts special attacks, special defense, and speed by a stage. It's bug type and learned predominantly by evolutionary families that are based on butterflies and moths. A bit of trivia, but you can call them Lepidopterans because they have scaled wings. Fiery Dance Hono no Mai You remember how earlier I said that fire can be written as he? Well, it can also be written as Hono. Just as how in English we can say both fire and flame, there are multiple ways to say it in Japanese. A very simple way of thinking about it is that he is fire, and that stacking he turns that fire into a stronger one, hono. The fire type itself is hono, and most fire type moves use hono, which helps to sell the strength of the flames and blazes fire types can create. Some fire type moves do use he, but they use a different reading so it sounds like ka instead of he. Long story made very short. Kunyomi and Onyomi are two different readings and pronunciations for the same character because Japan's writing system and language were historically influenced by China. This is the other reason the kanji might be pronounced differently. Luckily for you, that Rendaku concept I mentioned much earlier is usually only done for Kunyomi. I say usually because there are exceptions, but try your best anyway. Language is a skill and skills are learned by trying and failing. Revelation Dance I mentioned what this move does at the start of the video, so we'll just talk about the name. Mezameru Dansu. You can consider this to mean awakening dance. Unlike Okiru, which is commonly used to refer to a literal action, the rising and stirring part of waking up, Mezameru is being used with more nuance here. When you factor in the kanji, Mezameru can absolutely refer to eyes literally opening. It can also figuratively mean to open your eyes, to come to your senses, to come to a realization, to awaken. In a sense, Revelation Dance could very well be an eye-opening experience for the user that awakens the power of their base typing, and for the opponent hit by that latent power. Clangorous Soul Sorbito. The Pokémon sacrifices a third of its health to get an Omni Boost to its stats. It's a dance using the soulful beat of the Pokémon using it. It also counts as a sound move. Victory Dance Shori no Mai Shori is victory, conquest, or triumph. Pokémon using this move perform a dance that brings forth victory. The move boosts attack, defense, and speed, so it's effectively a physical version of Quiver Dance. It's currently exclusive to Hisui and Lilligant, but it would be pretty interesting to see Victory Dance or a clone get some distribution. Aqua Step. Aqua Step. The Pokemon performs light and fluid dance steps to perform a physical water attack. What kind of physical strike? Maybe a kick? Maybe the arms? Maybe the rump? Who knows? We can assume, but it's not a guarantee. What we do know is that the move also boosts speed due to the fluid footwork. Rain Dance. Amagoi. The Pokémon summons rain for five turns, boosting the power of water moves and weakening fire moves. It also makes thunder and hurricane skip accuracy checks and interferes with moves that are boosted in sunlight. You can't set rain when it's already raining, so it'd be pretty silly to strategize around copying Rain Dance with Dancer, wouldn't it? That's all I've got, everyone. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.
Nah, I'm just messing with you. Though you probably already knew that. I've been listing out all the moves in order of release and brought up a Generation 2 move last. Plus, I never explained the name. Good on you for noticing. Rain Dance isn't actually a dance. Ame is rain, and together this is rain prayer. Shinto is an indigenous Japanese religion, and one of the many ways to interact with the powers that be in that belief system was prayer, hence a prayer for rain. Western cultures are used to the concept of Native American rain dances. It's not exclusive to Native American culture, but in the United States, if you ask people about summoning rain, they're unlikely to bring up an upside down Teru Teru Bozu, Indonesian Pawa Hujen, or Chinese Wu shamans. Back in Generation 2, they had no way of knowing that there would be abilities, let alone a dance or ability that hinges on players knowing if moves are truly dances or not. The point is that rain dance isn't a dance, it's just that prayer comes in many forms. Okay, I'm stopping for real this time. If you like trivia and massive tangents, check out my other videos. Tell me your favorite dance in the comments. Keep moving and schmoovin'. Bye!